Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, this is a video for uh, my Deathman army. I played my third match for the league, and I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. It pretty much ended in a draw. I think uh, the points between us, in terms of the end, I think I have four points less than my opponent. But I, I don't know, it felt like a draw, and I don't know how they're doing the points in the league. Um, but I think it's pretty much a draw unless they make it any points above your point is a victory no matter what. If there is no more slight major draw, slight major victory or defeat, I don't know. But it felt like a draw to me. Uh, I played against Tyrannis. I played this person before. I played against her list in the tournament uh, in January. And uh, it was the same list she ran, same list I ran. So it was a replay, pretty much, of, of, the, uh, of a match. Different objectives, different table, different um, turning on the table, obviously. So, lots of fun though. Uh, lots of, of carnage was wreaked or wrought or whatever the proper terminology is. She plays a shock uh, a shock assault list for uh, Tyranids and uh, I play Deathwing. <laughs> so, it was interesting um, to go against it again as Deathwing. And it's always interesting to play any army as Deathwing. But shock assault, it's a good list. That she runs. I like her list that she runs. It's, it's. I think it works pretty well. And um, she was running it pretty well uh, at this game as, as well. I think we both made a couple of player errors, which happens. No, we're not perfect players, but um, uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. I learned a lot from this game. Uh, the dice rolling between the two of us, I would say, was equal. Not we didn't roll any better or worse. Uh, than the other person, meaning, like when I played the Blood Angel game, or the game against the Blood Angel player, uh, he rolled exceptionally well, I rolled exceptionally bad, so the disparity in dice rolling was big, uh, but when I was playing against her, we both were rolling kind of subpar a little bit, but we were both rolling essentially the same way, so it was equal rolling, which meant, led to a, a, a closer game and a fun game. Uh, though we did have uh, some moments where some of our dice rolling was exceptional. Uh, I can recall moments, two specific moments for me. Uh, I had a, t a Terminator uh, last for three turns, not rounds, but three turns against the Hive Tyrant, making an invuln save in each one of those turns, and he ended up killing the Hive Tyrant with his Power Fist. So that was pretty cool, he, you know, with his 5 plus invuln save. It was just nice to see him make it in this beat up the uh, Hive Tyrant. And Belial, I had him attached to a, a standard Terminator squad and they assaulted into a, a fresh Moloch and um, pretty much he uh, on the charge with his Master Crafted Power Sword, you know, he has a Storm Bolt of Sword of Silence. That's how he's equipped in, uh, in my army. And with that he dealt three wounds to the Moloch on the charge. That was pretty impressive. Um, one of the things I learned is need more cyclone missile launchers. Like I, it's just been the name of the uh, game, so to speak. Coming away from every game I played, I need more cyclone missile launchers. They just work that well and are that good for Deathwing. In fact, I think they would be still pretty much that good if they only shot once, like they used to. Uh, I think I would have come to that conclusion anyway. But um, now they shoot twice. I just think they're really good in a pure Terminator force. Assault cannons are great because they're also backed up by a long range force being the rest of your space marine army. So having a Terminator squad or two with assault cannons is nice because they back up the firepower of the rest of your space marine army well. But a pure Terminator army uh, needs more long range shooting than what I currently have. So I think the Cyclone missile launchers would do well for that. And I am going to upgrade the plasma cannon to a twin link glass cannon. Uh, it's small blast template doesn't do that much. I mean, it, it kind of helped here and there. But uh, I think a twin-league glass can would be a little bit better for me. <clears throat> so, um, with that being said, uh, the Assault Terminator Squad that I have with the four Thunderhammer Storm Shields and the Heavy Flamer Power Fist, because remember Deathwing can do that, um, it proved itself in this game, although it also proved how it's kind of a liability at the same time because it can't shoot except for that Heavy Flamer. And um, the Land Raider got immobilized, like midway through the game, so um, they had to huff it. 
against certain things, and they were able to hoof it, uh, you know, disembark and assault something on that same turn. But uh, then they took them two turns of moving to really get into a good assault position for something else. And in that two turns moving, they couldn't shoot. They were just running there, taking wounds, you know, saving them, but getting shot at nonetheless without being able to uh, give any bag until they got in range of the uh, template weapon. So, um, it's a, a reminder of the fact that Deathwing really needs to shoot. So, having, I'd say, more than one assault squad like that would really be a liability, except for maybe like a 2,500 point game or something like that, where you have like two land raiders or so and another squad like that but um while it was a liability it also did uh shine it, it took out um two turbogons it, it helped take out one turbogon got assaulted by a second turbogon later on took it down took down a squad of turbogons and took down um a, one zone throat which isn't that big of a deal but uh it, they definitely made their points back, but it's just the fact that it couldn't shoot during that entire time because it was out of range of its template weapon. And it was just taking hits that um, really reminds you that if Deathwing, I mean, if I had more than one squad like this, I'd really be hurting on the shooting end. I wouldn't be able to thin things down or take things out at range very well. Um, so yeah, that being said, uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, I just I like playing this army. It works well for me. I'm still learning it, uh, the little nuances here and there, but I think I got a pretty solid um, mastery, if you will, over it. Uh, you always learn something new, I feel, when you play against armies. You, just, you try little things here and there that you may not have tried before, but um, definitely think the Cyclone missile launcher, is, missile launcher is where it's at. And I like keeping the Dreadnought close combo up on my Dreadnoughts. I think just the... Uh, the subconscious knowledge of the fact that it's a strength 10 close combat weapon that ignores armor uh, is a bit of a deterrent to people. They're not so readily um, willing to assault into it or get charged by it. So, depending on the squad, of course. Like, the squad full of powerfuls, they won't care, but you understand my point. It's, um, it's a nice little mind thing there. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. It's nice feeling a small army like the 25 models strong. It's not the smallest army out there, but it's pretty small. And it's uh, pretty effective. Like, the Deathwing are definitely a strong army, I feel. I mean, I think people kind of scoff at it because, A, it's a Dark Needles Codex and they don't like it. Although I think the Dark Needles Codex is fine. Um, well, it's, not, it's not perfect. It could definitely use to be upgraded, but you get my point. I don't think it's people... I think people are too harsh on it, I should say. But, uh... Also, that it's, it's just a small army of Terminators. People kind of look at it and go, huh, I can't do much because of the weapon loadouts and whatnot. But they do pretty well. I would say um, some fine-tuning here and there in the way I play it a bit. You know, experimenting with certain things I don't normally do. Um, and getting the Cyclone missiles, Missile Launchers in there will definitely uh, increase my potential with this army. And it's, it's just more playtime, constant time in the saddle, so to speak, to, to really enhance it. But um, definitely enjoying the Deathwing. I'll be doing some, uh, some tactical videos on them in the near future, hopefully. And um, that's pretty much it. So until next time, take it easy.